Hi everyone, Jason here from PyQuant News. Today we're going to look at the Sortino Ratio in Python. It takes just a couple seconds to calculate it, and it's a very important risk-adjusted metric for Python. It's just like the Sharp Ratio, except it's only looking at returns that are below a threshold all the way out through negative infinity. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, first we'll use OpenBB to get data, and the only real function we'll need here, a library that we'll need is actually NumPy. So using OpenBB, it's super easy to get um, stock data, options data, futures data. In our case here, we're just gonna get NVIDIA. NVIDIA is of course all the rage. And really simply, very easily, we get uh, open high, low, close data uh, for NVIDIA. So first we wanna calculate the returns. Uh, and now we have this really nice pandas data frame. Uh, except actually, it's a series with the daily returns of NVIDIA. Now to calculate the Sortino ratio, it's just a few lines of code, but let's go through it. So first thing we do is we take the returns and we subtract off of an adjustment factor. So what we're trying to do here is get all of the returns below this threshold. Then we annualize the, the, the mean return. So we take the annual return, we take the mean of that and we multiply it by 252 to get an annualized like average return. We then take the downside diff. And what we're using here is the numpy flip function, which takes the, the array of returns through negative infinity to zero. So it's basically taking all of the returns between negative infinity and zero. We then use the NP square method to square these returns, output them into the same array that we started with, and then we square it. We square the mean and we multiply it by 252 to get the annualized, uh, annualized downside deviation. And then we divide the average annual return by that annualized downside deviation. If you look back at the initial slide that we had, you can kind of see the mathematical formula here between negative infinity through that threshold. We're taking the threshold minus the return squared and then multiplying it by the change in time. Okay, so very simple, couple lines of Python code. Let's take a look at what it looks like visualized. Okay, so when we run the actual Sortino ratio, we get the Sortino ratio of NVIDIA, which is 5.67. Uh, that's really because NVIDIA has a run up like $200 over the past month. We can actually look at what this looks like on a rolling basis, and you can see using pandas it plots, and you see the Sortino ratio has gone from just above zero all the way to 50. Um, that's crazy. It's just because it's such a big stock and it's been having huge moves recently. Uh, a further analysis here is we can actually take the histogram of these values and see what they look like over time. And again, you see some very, very, you know, it's a right skewed distribution. You can see some very, very large Sortino ratios um, as of late. So that is the Sortino ratio in Python, just a couple lines of code. I encourage you to follow me at PyQuant News where I write about this stuff all the time. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat. Take care. Bye.